Now you've done all this and something still doesn't work. So what do you do? How do you troubleshoot? Well, you got to go down a natural progression of digging deeper and deeper into the bowels of Kerberos. Starting off by just auditing messages, getting into more advanced logging, turning on debugging, and then digging into the big guns for actually capturing the packets themselves and figuring out what's going on. So let's take a quick lap through how this might work. First thing I'm going to do is enable auditing. By default, the error messages and messages for success, etc., for Kerberos are not logged to the event log. So you need to go to your registry and actually set a log level of 1 uh, to do that. You'll notice this actually creates uh, error messages themselves just by this being on. So make sure, especially in production, that this is for temporary use only. If that doesn't work, you set the additional option of logging to file with a default value of 1 so that it logs to the file lsass.log. Uh, so once this gets created, take a copy of that, put it somewhere, and, and open that so you can start to, to dig through it. Now if that doesn't give you enough information, you can add this option with a value uh, shown, uh, which is the basic, the basic amount of values, or set it to all Fs to see the absolute max amount of information you can. Now before you go and set it to all Fs, keep in mind it's an absolute ton of information that gets logged and authentication is a very active service on your environment and you need to dig through a lot more as you start to, to, to ratchet that up. Some common messages you're going to be looking for now I'll show you the hex code along with the actual error messages themselves. These are the very very most common ones being principal unknown uh, those are the ones where it can't find an SPN Principle unique, meaning you have a duplicate SPN. Uh, app error skew, which means that time sensitivity that we talked about uh, is too great. So by default, Kerberos doesn't allow any timestamp difference of greater than five minutes. So it thinks that if that time span is larger, then something must have happened to that packet somewhere in the middle. Uh, another Another one that's often there is response too big. And what happens in this particular case is there's a piece of a Kerberos ticket that's called the Privilege Attribute Certificate. And this is where all of your group memberships are contained. So if you are a member of a significant number of groups, that list can become too large and push that certificate and that thus that packet beyond uh, the, the means of what UDP can transmit and it will force it with TCP. So you'll see that uh, on occasion. So once you have this set up, you're going to start looking for events in the event log. Uh, you're going to start to see checking for duplicate SPNs. Make sure you check all your SPN syntax. Check the delegation settings. Go into ADSI edit and, and look through each account to make sure that the appropriate pieces are all set. So Let's actually take a look at this in some action. Open the registry. And I can see the different parameters that I can put in my Kerberos section. And just add a new D word value. We're going to give it a log level of 1 so that we start seeing stuff in the event log. We'll also start off by putting them all in here. We'll have a curb debug level so you can see what that looks like. And we'll actually do log to file as well. So now normally you wouldn't do all these at once, but in this case, we will. I can go into my Windows System32 directory and look for the lsass.log. There we go. Copy it, 
paste it over here so we don't disturb it. And you can see how significant this can be uh, just from turning on the basic logging. So you're going to need to pour through here and look for errors, uh, those hex codes that I showed you before, since those are the most common, uh, that's where I'd start. What I can do here is show you what it would actually look like if you found a particular error. So we'll take one that's not quite as daunting and pour through this looking for specific error messages. You can see a, a lot of just basic messages or messages that aren't necessarily applicable and as you look at these a bunch uh, you'll start to, to understand what the differences are. But there we go. Target unknown. So it couldn't find a SPN for the target it was trying to contact. Those are the kinds of things you're going to find in here.